Football is just starting up, but tennis is in the middle of their season. Sports reporter Guy Forbes caught up with tennis player Jordan Denisic about a personal matter that many people don't know athletes may have experienced. Take a look. NEU tennis player Jordan Denisic faces more than just the opponent across the net. Since the age of 13, Jordan's toughest opponent has always been herself in the form of anorexia and bulimia. So it started when my cousin was calling me fat. Things didn't get any easier when she moved to Arizona and started high school. Between my freshman and sophomore year, I was so bad that I had to go inpatient and was there for 60 days, had to be fed through a tube, and then came out and I had to go to intensive outpatient care, um, which is basically you're there four days a week for several hours, so you don't really have a life. And so then started getting a lot better, healthier. I was starting to play tennis again. And then something happened. I got a lot of stress in my family. I thought my parents were going to get a divorce, and I blamed it all on myself. Everything was my fault, so then I went into bulimia. Begging the question, did she ever feel like giving up? There were multiple times when all I could think about was just being done with everything, life in general, just doing stuff, stupid stuff. Uh, like I've had, I found knives in my room after a while, and I'm just like, what is this doing here? Like, I did not mean for that to happen. But with the help of her church, her coach, and NAU, she was able to fight through it. I think coming to NAU really was a turning point and playing on this team because it shows like where I came from and what I'm capable of. And sometimes I lose sight of that a lot. I'm just like, well, I'm not, I can't do this because I can't do that. But then when I think about it, it's like, well, I was literally almost dead and here I am playing in a collegiate tennis. Not only has Jordan seen a difference in herself, but so has her coach. She's just become comfortable in who she is, which is great to see because she has so much to offer. So for her to just realize, hey, I have a lot to offer and uh, in maturing and realizing this is who I am. Unlike a lot of people, Jordan doesn't want to hide her story. I hope people do hear this story and like realize that recovery is possible. I have lost some friends that I met while inpatient and I'm still friends with a lot of them and they're all living the lives that they probably never could have imagined before and now they are. And so recovery is possible. Recovery is something that is greater than anything you could ever imagine. And Life is a lot better than anyone could ever imagine. For NAZ Today, I'm Guy Forbes.